The Bliss clarinet came about um, about five or six years ago now. Uh, I had a meeting, or well, met John Stoner, who is the VP for Consumer for the for the first time in Frankfurt. And uh, we got on quite well, and I was trying a lot of prototype instruments that they had. And it was then, throughout the course of that year, um, we got together and decided there was a market for an affordable instrument that worked properly. Um, at that time, it was purely an idea, and development started. And we were in development for at least a year, maybe two years, um, trying all sorts of different materials, um, different keys, uh, different plating on the keys. Um, so it was a long, painstaking process, but one that was very enjoyable for me because um, it's something, of course, I haven't done before. And being a performer, it was very interesting to see how the instruments are made and also have a hand in how they play. Um, of course, it's great to have my name on something like the Bliss clarinet. Um, it's great to see, especially younger players, playing the instrument and really liking liking it and uh, really enjoying playing um, so it has it's just been really good fun uh, so far uh, a lot of development always new things to be done uh, new ways of manufacturing that was one of the main things they wanted to try was a lot of new technology that hasn't been used before um, for example the synthetic as far as I know it's the first time that material has been used on a musical instrument um, we found it was a lot stronger than ABS plastic, a lot lighter, and gave a much better sound. Um, and that was after trying about 200 different various materials. Um, we found that one was the best for everything. Um, and so a lot of development like that, which has been really, as I said, really good fun so far.